is Grant here, I'd like to call Grant Mountjoy up to the hot seat. <laughs> okay, so Grant, thanks very much for coming along from Rock the Vote New Zealand, supporting the notice of motion for initiating open workshops. Okay, thank you very much. I'll just get you to pop on the uh, speaker with the right hand side if you just like it. Well, we've just heard from two people who work in another local body and they've just told us what a success open workshops can be. Well, I wanted to tell you what I think from the public's point of view. Um, you will probably know my face. My name's Grant Mountjoy. I, I work together in a little group called Rock the Vote New Zealand, and we're primarily interested in the public being well aware of all the plans that the council and the local boards have for the city that we live in. Uh, it occurred to me a few years ago that I was unaware of what was happening around me in the city, all these changes that I was witnessing. And I thought, well, probably other people think the same thing too. They just assume that everybody must know about it. I must have missed it somehow. Well, I think having the, uh, the uh, workshops open to the public gives everybody the possibility to pick up the story right from the beginning, rather than pick it up in a local board meeting, where it sometimes feels like, from my point of view, that we're walking into a movie 10 minutes before the end, and we've missed the main body of the story. So that's the main gist of it from the public's point of view. Um, I was interested in what um, Alex said. Uh, you know, what was the purpose? Alex asked of, of, of having the workshops open. And from the public's point of view, uh, there's an advantage in being able to evaluate the performance of our councillors, of our local body councillors, to see who's asking questions, who's curious, who's doing all the, all the bidding for the public, and what they're, what they're talking about. Because we know that, the, as people have just said, it's in the workshops where the questions start being asked. Things might not be concluded there, but things get fleshed out. And it's very useful the, for the public to be on board. And there are very few people really in the public who are, who are interested in this. There are just people like Gail, Rock the Vote New Zealand, and a few other people. And you know, we're all working with you. We want to assist you. We don't want to be um, pointing fingers and saying, oh, this was done without any public um, you know, uh, agreement. So I see a, you know, a big advantage all around if we can all work together and it should be a public collaboration. You shouldn't feel that you're working on your own. And the more that everybody knows what's going on, it'll be a much more relaxed situation, I'm sure. And it, you'll find that with the help of people like Gail, who really has a lot to offer, she really does. She's a three-dimensional thinker. And I think her input needs to be valued. Um, you might know that I, I ran for uh, a position on the board back in 2022. I've since seen how difficult the job is. I'm not sure that I would really do as well as you people, but um, certainly I've, I've seen what it's like now. Um, so anyway, I'll just quickly read this before I go. So as a resident, I attend these meetings regularly to better understand local issues and monitor how effectively the interests of the wider community are being represented by decisions taken here. However, I have to say, as an observer, I've had the impression on many occasions that by the time the local board meeting rolls around, decisions are already in the bag. Maybe this is how it's supposed to be, but how it but how it appears from the public gallery is a little bit different. So for the public who elected you, it can resemble, as I say, like catching the last 10 minutes of a movie. So without the visibility of the initial uh, discussion process, the public is effectively denied the right of full insight into the board's decision-making processes. So 
is it a public servant's perspective, and you guys are public servants, that things operate more effectively if the public is kept in the half light? I should dread the thought. Needless to say, public access to all workshops would demonstrate the goodwill of the board to foster trust and understanding among a better informed public. So I encourage you all to embrace open workshops, follow the initiatives already taken by the five other Auckland local boards and give voters good reasons why they should support you in the next elections. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Grounds, for coming along. Are there any questions off ground questions. at this stage? <laughs> yeah. Members, do you have any questions? <laughs> Thanks, Member Trotman. I'm from. You've not read the presentation from Roger, have you? Roger um, Wilkins. I think someone's got Roger. That. Roger's online. He's going to present. Oh, OK. No, that's fine. I just wanted to double check that the thing that you read out wasn't Roger Hawkins. No, no, no. This is no, all my... just yours. OK, so he's coming later. Somebody yeah. might read. OK, thank you. So my question um, to you is you talk about Gail, you use Gail as an example, uh, her having a lot to offer. Oh, yeah. She will not be able to offer anything in open workshop. She'll purely be able to listen. She oh, won't absolutely. be able to engage in any way. I just wanted to make sure that you understand Oh, no, 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 that. totally understand that. So my notice of motion allows for the chat online uh, to be left open for staff and local board members. Do you think that you would be able to resist not using it? Absolutely. It's not It's yeah, not really. in my nature to, um, to get involved with that. I, I'm actually quite a retired sort of person, you know, and uh, it's not something I enjoy doing. Right, thank you. I just, one of the things that will happen if the public uses no, the chat no, no, no. is and that I don't be think, taken straight out of the... And I thank you for that point, mm. because I don't think any of us want to, to be a hindrance, honestly. Mm. We just want to understand what's happening. And I forgot to read an important part here that I'm in support of, of Sarah Trotman's notice of motion uh, on the basis that it is online, uh, video recorded, and um, possibly in person would be good too. But I can assure you that people will be well behaved. In person. Yeah. Otherwise, we'll lose the opportunity as a, as a, as a collaboration. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Grant. We'll just pop the resolution up on the screen. Thank you, Kim. Call for a seconder. Yeah, thanks, Deputy Chair Moyle. Let the wider Matai Local Board thank Grant Mountjoy. We can just pop up a little bit there. For his presentation in support of Member Trotman's Notice of Motion for Initiating Open Workshops. All those in favour? Against? That's carried. Thank you very much, Grant.